this vehicle is carrying molten iron there. And you know, molten iron is really hot. It's over 1,500 degrees Celsius. So you can imagine previously those human laborers need to carry it. It's really dangerous. And now these vehicles are helping people to do the dangerous works. I'm now on this molten iron transportation electric vehicle powered by AI and 5G. The first of its kind in the world. In the near future, this vehicle can free people from working in hazardous environments with high temperatures, noise, and dust. After it officially starts operations in July, we no longer need human labor to drive here. We can monitor the operation status, power and speed of the equipment at a monitoring center. This unmanned AI vehicle can be remotely monitored from an intelligence control center. In the future, you will be able to see the status of unmanned vehicles here, including their routes, if they need to stop suddenly, and how they avoid traffic jams. This huge intelligence control center is located about five kilometers away from some of its operation area. And you can do the remote control right here. Such an intelligence control center has liberated most of its workers from the traditional iron and steel factories and helped the company achieve a 100% basic automation rate. For example, what are the specific reasons for the temperature increase in our blast furnace? It may be due to equipment issues or the air volume on site. It can tell the technical personnel in which direction to handle it. We have improved our labor efficiency by more than 50% through these technologies. We hope to achieve an average annual steel production of 2,000 tons per person. The steel making industry is leading the way in China's industry's plan to go digital. The China Iron and Steel Association found that about 80% of companies in the sector have applied industrial internet technology to embrace digital transformation. Zhu Zhu, CGTN, Nantong in Jiangsu Province.